Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So it has been a quite a while since I posted a video. Uh, that was not my intention, but it was some sort of traveling, but also I am posting more vlogs in my other channel. So if you want to check it out, Merce Vlogs, put that in my description links but yes yeah, in today's video I want us to talk about grooming essentials so I have done a bunch of videos related to like nighttime routine morning routine uh, just manscaping and everything I feel like grooming is also one of the ones that like I think it's important and it gets updated on a regular basis so I thought it's better to make another video talking about my grooming essentials that I use on a regular basis these days uh, for myself so uh, yeah let's get started So the number one thing I would recommend for shaving your face or just trimming your face and also for your body, it doesn't matter if you just want something clean or just trim your hair, chest hair, body hair or just leg hair, uh, you should use electric razor. So obviously don't use the same one you use for your face and for your body because your face is more sensitive than for your body. So you want to make sure there's a difference. But when it comes to face, because I want to focus more on that, um, I use this. Uh, it's a very basic electric razor that I actually bought from Walgreens I think it was one of the drugstores like very like, it was not expensive I think it's maybe like 20 bucks or 25 dollars it was not that expensive and I had been using this I mean for like maybe four years or five years this has been <laughs> like my ride or die trimmer uh, for my face uh, whenever you see like this this is what it's done i mean it actually does it way more so it almost looks like you have sh you shave your face but you actually haven't it's just trimmed so it, le it leaves a little bit of hair uh but you know very smooth so i love it actually so and it's very affordable remington is actually such a good brand and they also make so many new ones nowadays you can use it in the wet and also just dry so it's like waterproof this one is not waterproof but there's so many times i've actually done it in the shower aside from like separate from the water so right next to the water it has been working just fine so battery life is not amazing and you don't really know what is the <laughs> battery life honestly because it doesn't show it but for the price of this it's just it's not like big deal at all so i would definitely recommend this second thing i'm going to recommend is a razor so you guys are going to be like well you just mentioned electric razor so why do you talk about the razor so for razor i i mostly use it for specific purposes so that's why i feel like it's kind of like you need to use both things to get the best results you want because let's be honest um as a guy like not every day you want your face clean like clean shape not every day you want your face trimmed there are days that you want that there are days that you don't want that like it really ups to you and you want to take the advantage of what style you want to do i think maybe some people might judge me for this and like be like okay that's a bit too much i don't care for it if you don't that's fine but i feel like grooming is almost essentially like fashion and beauty so you get to choose what you want to do with it and you should have the tools that you need to do whatever you want and whatever style you want so this one i specifically use for my neck area because this is something i have been also not doing it that like super like for a long time i have been doing maybe a year so when you trim your neck right it doesn't look clean i have to assure you like maybe you don't notice it for yourself but when you look at other people who just like have trimmed their face and they have some sort of a beard but their neck is completely clean that looks great like I'm just saying it looks clean it looks like very nicely done and you don't realize it until you cut you look at yours and you're like oh it's just trimmed trim it just doesn't give that nice um, sexy look I'm just saying it doesn't so make sure to use the razor like just a regular razor for this I've been using this razor from like the Dollar Shave Club I've been using Dollar Shave Club for years honestly you can use it for like you know for your face or if you just clean shave or anything like that their products are really good and also very affordable you can also get into their like subscription like so easy and they have very affordable products that you can use uh, along with some of their razors and the creams okay third thing that i'm going to talk about this one's actually related to what we just talked about the shaving cream so the reason i'm actually talking about the shaving cream is like sometimes people think that like this is unnecessary and there have been times in my life that like i just use just water or there are times i have also used soap at least from i'm talking about from my experience that like i get like 
rash or bumps like from razor bumps from the razor doesn't matter if I'm using this or this like the regular razor not the electric one I get that but actually shaving cream has definitely made a difference for me you don't necessarily have to use this exact same one but you can definitely look into see what kind you want it but this one has been the best for me so far it's from Cardan it's their shaving cream it's a foaming shaving cream so you just lather it in your hand and it just makes a really good foaming shave uh, so it's very gentle and it leaves your skin so moisturized I would overall also recommend like aftershave if your skin is super super sensitive so you just really want to be careful with that and balance it out but definitely make sure to use a shaving cream because it makes your process so much smoother but on top of that it actually makes the process so much cleaner because when you're just shaving by itself even sometimes with water the hair goes so much places but the cream actually captures the hair so you have less mess afterwards okay this is something also i get asked quite a lot especially on tiktok and generally also i get asked a lot overall with my beard because this is just the light version i would say because it gets it grows pretty fast overall i would say number one thing is just my genetics it just has been like this i don't do anything super super special but i would also say beard oil is something beard growth oil is actually something that helps quite a lot for your beard first of all it may it helps to grow like nicely because if you have like patchy beard or something this will help to grow that in a more like natural way and it looks more healthy it's almost like vitamin for your beard so because overall you know sometimes your beard can look i don't know it just it might not look as healthy and this actually makes that for you and also gives you that more fuller look for your beard so depending on you know what you're looking for but i would definitely recommend it and it also makes it smell so good uh so it's just uh not such a like bad option to add and it's also like not super expensive depending on the brand so this one is actually from heat grooming so um i have been using it like not a lot because i don't have that much problem when it comes to growing it but there are times that i use it just for the smell of it and how it feels okay this is one of the other products that that comes to like beard growth uh it's called derma roller so there's actually a version for also just face it's called derm roller so i think it's very similar thing it's just like the texture is slightly different so this one has like kind of like needles it almost feels like micro needling so if you like really press it you're definitely going to feel it so this is for the hair growth essentially so you can also use it for your scalp they just have multiple kinds so you can definitely look around but this one i specifically just say for the beard and i would recommend actually maybe combine it with using the beard oil and this like first apply the beard oil so your skin is not super dry then you're applying this like this is like a essentially like a massage for your you know hair and beard so more pressure you apply obviously more you're going to feel but you just take your time and like start slow and see if you see a difference but on top of it also like it just feels great so um it's like something that i would recommend but also just make sure that you keep it clean because it might cause um, like irritation on your skin so you want to be careful with that all right guys so these were some of my grooming essentials that i use on a regular basis so i'll put the links down below so you can get them yourself if you find any of them useful for your routine some of them might be outdated because you know I feel like there's new products that comes up every year so they discontinue some of the old products but I'll make sure to put the alternatives if I find them but everything will be down below so you guys can check them out and I hope you guys like this video if you do please don't forget to give a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week with another video bye guys